Hey, I'm Dee Dee. Um, basically, I just wanted to come to you today because I'm going to start doing something new to me, but it's definitely not a new concept. So I'm a nurse, and at work, I use this thing called a, like a brain. Um, and basically, it's just a sheet of paper that will have like whatever my assignment for patients is, and then it'll have like all of the information on it. Um, so that if somebody's asking me something, I don't have to try to recall that from the top of my head. I can look at this brain and kind of get an idea of, it'll just jog my memory and I'll be able to give accurate information quickly. So what I do um, at work, I don't understand why that concept didn't translate into my home life, but I am like, a note taker so I'll have like all of these random sheets of paper I'll put it in my phone I'll write it on the calendar then I'll lose the calendar and I do all these different things to try to manage the home system um, just manage your house on the why I said home system but um, and it's effective but because obviously you know we're living on a day-to-day -day basis but um, I'm looking for something more effective um, and so I went on Pinterest. Um, my husband doesn't like me going on Pinterest because he's like, you're always making something, whatever the case may be. I went on Pinterest and I was looking up home organization and all this stuff. And apparently there's like gotta be thousands to millions. I don't know the numbers. Okay. But of people of women that do these home organization binders. So I said, I'm going to make me one. I'm making myself a home organization binder. So I got started. I basically, I didn't like any one specific website. Um, and that's just because as these people make these free printables, it's more tailored to what they use in their home versus, you know, they don't know me. They're just making this stuff, these resources available. So um, I went and I was combing through. I probably spent like an hour, maybe a little bit more because I got distracted looking at other stuff, but maybe just an hour selecting things that I liked specifically that I know that my family can use. And I expect that that's going to change over time um, because life changes. So there might be some things that I can make even better or more effective. So here is my home management binder. A majority of my binder comes from um, the do-it-yourself home sweet home blog spot. Um, it's just an excellent website to get some some of the bones. Actually, you probably could get everything from there, but I really like the scheme. I'm really into the bright colors and the chevron print because honestly, let's face it, home management kind of sucks. And it's like, you know, it's what you do every day, but it's not necessarily something pleasant you want to discuss all the time or that you even want to think about all the time. So for me, I needed lots of color and just cute. So that's what I did. So there's that. And of course, you got to do something with the um, binder spine. Can't just leave that blank. I got this from a completely separate website. And I'm sorry, I don't remember. If I recall, I'll put that information um, along with this post. Um, and just on the back, wherever I got this the binder um, spine from, I also got this back. And it's just, you know, some little cute sayings and reminders and you know just something encouraging to have back there and it makes the binder look cute um so as I open the binder and I haven't filled it out yet because I was like before I actually start filling it out I want to show y'all what I'm doing um so I don't have to cover up all the personal stuff um so I'll just be transferring all my personal stuff later and yes, this video, I'm going to try to keep it short, but we're already into four and a half minutes with me just explaining it. But anyway, so you open it and here is going to be the daily docket and it's just a daily to-do list. That's like the phrase is daily docket. And I put a little clothespin there because it'll just keep it in place. It's kind of heavy because I laminated it and every time I opened it, um, it went swinging somewhere else, but this is basically it. it's a daily to-do list since I'm going to use this every day Oh, you just probably got a reflection of every random thing that's on my computer, but um, 
since I'll use it every day, I didn't want it to be something that I was constantly printing off because, I mean, let's just face it, color ink is expensive. Um, and while I'm thinking about colored ink, I did go ahead and make my original copies on and print them off here. And then I went to Staples and made some extra copies. So I wasn't using all my ink or my paper. I mean, I had to pay for it, but it's just a lot better. So then there's a jot it page. Obviously, you could just use whatever regular kind of paper that you have, but I like the jot it page because it basically is cute and it's just a random place if I am thinking of something at a certain po you know point that I could just go ahead and do it. And I put all of my stuff in like the little page protectors because um well one I have a 4-year-old who if he gets his hand on this binder it could be detrimental. Um, for the binder so that's one reason but also just because you know when you have binders and the pages rip out it's just annoying this will be the emergency page where it's just like any basic information um, should there be an emergency there's like really awesome stuff homeowners insurance I mean if you're renting you can do renters insurance or whatever the case may be um, but it has good contact numbers and stuff like that on it and this is a really good thing because it'll keep you and your spouse or if you know if you're by yourself it'll just keep you um, I don't know what am I trying to say blank anyway it'll keep you um, forefront this, this information needs to be at the forefront of your mind if there's an emergency because you're gonna be thinking about a billion things okay so let this be your guide um, next so my I have this thing first of all divided in tabs I guess I should show you my tabs so I have a calendar tab menu cleaning finances and then miscellaneous and in the way back I have an extra tab back here that just has my son's name on it and that's gonna be anything that's specific to um, him, uh, yeah, just anything specific to him, um, I'll put back in the, his tab. So under calendar, I actually opted for the dividers that had like the little folder, the pockets on it, um, because it's a great place for storage and it kind of is a two in one to kind of keep down on the bulk because there will be bulk added as time goes on. So this is just a two for one thing here. In here are extra um, month printouts, and basically, um, here's the one that will be the current month once I fill that out, and it'll just be kind of giving an overview of anything that for the month I need to have on the front of my mind. I'll be able to go here. My hubby can come here. He probably won't, but I'll be able to say, did you check the binder? Like, I think that'll be good. Um, but anyway, it'll be something right here, just quick reminders. So that's the calendar tab. Um, I understand that like some of this stuff might seem like it's repetitious. It's really, it could be considered repetitious, but the reality is depending on what the needs are um, or who's looking at it, it's not really repetitious. I'm saying that because say if my husband comes and he's like, oh, you know, what were we doing on this day, blah, 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 you said such and such was coming up. I might not have my calendar or my phone or whatever by me at that time or remember off the top of my head so I can be like, oh, you know, that's under whatever section or if he doesn't even ask me, he'll be able to flip to something that's specific to what he's looking for. Um, again, this is more for me than him, but sometimes our schedules conflict. So um, this is kind of this will kind of help with that um just to pause for just a moment pause okay so i had this and it's at tristan's homework folder but this is what i was using um originally for my husband and i to kind of keep up with stuff and as you can see first of all it was a paper folder so it was not a bright idea because my son's homework and everything it just got more and more and there's no like i only have two pockets so everything had to go in these two pockets um and it's just like a ton of information like okay snack schedule for school um i mean all kind of stuff i had you know good intentions with it but it just wasn't effective and it wasn't pretty so this was like a schedule I'm not gonna obviously like make it visible visible but you can see that it was a calendar that had um, just our work schedules on it Cause like I said my husband and I have a lot of conflict with our schedule and um, 
my son's schedule and where he's got to be and where we've got to be. So I tried to uh, make that work, but again, this was just everything got piled in there and it was hard to find. So um, that that's a done deal. We're not doing that anymore. Anyway, back to the binder. Um, so then I have a menu page. So menu planning is something that I'll do sometimes. I'm going to try to get a little bit better of doing it more often um, because it's just a good way to kind of keep when you go grocery shopping, it'll kind of keep you on track. I can go grocery shopping and buy all this random stuff sometimes and then end up having to go back because, oh, you know, I forgot this or that. If I can kind of gauge, okay, well, you know, Monday we might have this, Tuesday we might have this, Wednesday might be random, um, whatever the case may be, Friday a pizza night, you know, whatever. Um, but this will kind of keep on track and then if I think about it in advance, I can kind of get an idea, kind of budget that, and go grocery shopping accordingly. And this will keep everybody, you know, again, my husband's not going to look at this for meal, but if he really just kind of wanted to sneak a peek, which he'll probably do from time to time, he just won't tell me. But if he wanted to sneak a peek and be like, hmm, what's she cooking for dinner tomorrow? You know, that information is in there. Um, and so it's, it's just another way for you to already have um, organize your organize your thoughts. Sometimes when you get home from work or wherever the day is busy, you just do not have like what am I cooking again? Ugh, I don't even feel like cooking. Then you end up eating out and spending unplanned money. Trying to avoid that. I have a recipe section. So within the tabs, you might see these little pink things or whatever color they might be, extra tabs, and that's just a tab within a tab, so I can separate and know. Oh, there's another section in there. Um, sometimes I'll come across recipes that I like, so if I want to print it off, I'll be able to put it back there as something I'll come back to later. So then I have a cleaning tab, and in the cleaning tab is a spring cleaning list. Okay, you guys, I can come up with these lists on my own, but why would I do that when somebody has already spent the time to do it for me? I'm about that life. I am okay with somebody else doing the work for me. Um, this is just a really detailed spring cleaning list. There's certain things in the day-to-day -day that you just kind of, you don't do, you know, but then uh, sometimes there should be some heavy hitting things that you do around the house and um, they don't always readily come to mind. So I just wanted to print off a spring cleaning checklist so that I'd have one available. And then here is a daily um, weekly and I think a monthly, yeah, checklist. Um, just to break it down a little bit further, I know what needs to get cleaned in the house, but um, so like the day-to-day -day thing probably won't be one that I use so much, but maybe on a weekly basis I might want to incorporate something and use it or definitely on a monthly basis. So the next tab is going to be finances. And in that, I have a bank account information. That's not really ever going to change. Um, it just is what it is unless we decide to change banks or something like that. Um, but we have like a monthly budget section. So this will be like basically what we spend each month. Some things will change, like the miscellaneous items, some won't. This is basically the biggest thing um, that me and the hubby are working on right now is, you know, financial planning. You know, we're about to be 30. <sighs> and, you know, so there's certain things that you start thinking about. Um, and just being able to have a list. And it, sometimes he'll ask me and say, oh, what was that again? And I don't really either want to look it up or have it off the top of my head. So it'll be easier for me to just kind of reference the binder. And we'll have a list of the companies and all that kind of stuff. And it's just another way to keep things organized. You know, sometimes you'll call in to, um, say I had to call into like the water company. Okay, so S-E-E-N-G is like, what's your account number? I don't know. Like, I don't know. So it'll be nice to have something where it's already written down. Um what I am going to say is, if you have somebody coming over to your house, this probably, if you're going to make it that in-depth, would not be um, something that I would leave out. People are crazy nowadays. But um, it's definitely something to um, 
you can put whatever personal or not personal, whatever. Okay, but anyway, so that's that. And then I also have in this section dates to remember. Again, so this is where the repetition comes in. Well, Didi, Dee Dee, you have a calendar in the front. Why do you need this? Because this is like at a yearly glance, okay? You've got the termite bond or whatever, so they've got to come out and spray, you know, HOA fees. Um, I don't know. What, it, what else do you pay? Car insurances and... Uh, car taxes and some of the major heavy hitting things are how often do you get your house maybe you pay a maid service to come every few months or you know once a quarter every three months or whatever to come detail clean your house or I have a carpet guy come out and clean the carpet pretty much every three months um, and then what else? Mm, just anything do you have people come and pest control, spray the house. Those are the kind of things that you can have on, the, on a routine basis. So you already know, hey, this is coming up. I need to be thinking about that. That might not be something, I mean, I might plug it in on my monthly calendar, but as a, as a snapshot, that's what that one's for. On the back of this, um, bill payment checklist. This is something that is definitely optional. And again, the whole binder is optional, but this is something that's like, you know, this is the name of the bill. This is the date it's due. Did I pay it for the month? Because sometimes you do get busy. And even with an organization system, you might be in a situation where it's like, maybe you thought the hubby did it, or you just can't remember if you did it or whatever the case may be, get in the habit of paying it and then checking it off. You can already be like, yeah, that was taken care of. Um, on the back of here is the password log, and that was one of the reasons I was saying this is something you may want to consider putting away if you have company over because it's it's going to be basically your life in a snapshot, you know. Now that I've said that, of course, um, whatever, I don't have people in my house that I don't trust on a usual basis, so that's just me. Um, but the password log, this is something that I love because... Um, my husband and I, he'll be like, oh, what's the password, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you don't remember that password? I mean, really? Um, or I'll ask him the same thing, so I'm guilty too. But this is this is going to be a key thing. You know what I mean? There's so many passwords. You need a password for everything nowadays. So this is going to be, uh, that's going to be key. So moving on to the next tab is miscellaneous. There's nothing here yet. There will be. I might put something in the... Um, little folder like a coupon that I might have clipped. I would like to get into couponing one day, but that seems really aggressive. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. But anyway, coupons, um, menus that I liked from places that I've eaten that I might want to keep, um, just keep on hand. So that kind of stuff could go in here. Um, also, like, you know, my library gives like um, receipts after you print something out. Maybe all libraries do it nowadays, but not print something out. Uh, my library gives receipts after you check something out. So that might be something you slide in there too, just so you can remember. But the miscellaneous section, um, I thought this was really a cute idea, having a books to read slash movies or TV shows to watch um, section, because there, I, I like to read books and there might be something that somebody suggests to me that I'm already reading that I might want to come back or um, come back to one day. Um, so, you know, you have to even plan your fun things to do sometimes because, I mean, I mean if you think about it, you can get caught up in that day-to-day -day thing where you're just on your grind and handling your business and you forget to have fun. So, just a little, you know, reminder. Love yourself. I watch an insane amount of television in my free time. It's like marathon watching, but I have to like have my DVR on because I don't always have time to watch it when that show comes on. So what I'll do is um, I try to remember, okay, well, let's see. Monday, Big Bang Theory is coming on. Gotta watch that. And what show do they have on Bravo? Probably one of the Real Housewives franchises. So I got to get on top of that. And then, you know, Tuesday and then Wednesday. Okay, so Empire is on. And um, what else comes on Wednesday? Law and Order, SVU, got to watch that. Chicago PD, you get the point. Like, but I don't always remember the day that it comes on and then I miss it and I'm mad. 
because, yeah. So that's just what that is. And I mean, I guess I could set up the DVR, but I'm a just kind of in the minute type person. I'd like to do that thing that day. Anyway, so to do. These are random things that you need to get done that you, um, cause you planned out everything else, but these are things that are, oh, okay, I'd like to do that. Like if I had a plan to make a home management binder, I could have put that on the to do section. So something that I would like to do right now is, um, organize my file cabinet. It's getting to be the end of the year. So it's time to do that. Um, um, any honey to do list items like you know, I'm looking around the house. We've been in our particular home for about a year. So I think it'd be kind of important for us to maybe do some touch up paint. And by us, I mean, my husband do the touch up paint and we just tell him what needs to get touched up. That is the team effort right there. Um, and again, the last one will just be whatever my son has. And I love this. Also, I laminated this chore chart. He can't read, but I will, um, put like, I will write it out and maybe put like a little reminder sticker or something on a Monday through Friday basis. We're not, we're not doing chores on Sunday, definitely. Maybe on Saturday, but on Sunday, you you know, there's basic chores like clear your own plate, you know, and put your stuff in the hamper, that kind of stuff. But there won't be any really heavy duty chores on that day or heavy duty chores, period, because he's four. So that is the home management binder. Um... I had a lot of fun making it, and that's half the, the thing. There, there is the Erin Condren binder or other um, ones that you could make. The Erin Condren is like $60, so somebody would definitely have to buy that one for me. Um, but you can personalize it and do all these different things with it. Um, there's that. And there's other planners and stuff that you can buy that do similar things, but again, when you kind of make it your own, you get to kind of go through select things that are specific for your family, have fun putting it together, and then end up with such a cute result. Um, I love stuff like this. So if you do make one, take a picture and let me know, or if you have any other ideas or things that maybe you feel like, oh, well, if I had one, I'd do this, go ahead and leave me a comment. And um, yeah, so bye.